Hey everyone, it's Ben here at Fright Rags, back with another installment to our Birth of a Design series. In the first two segments, I showed you how we take a concept for a new design from the initial sketches all the way down to the final design. Now that we have this kick-ass design, we need to get it ready for screen printing so it can be immortalized onto 100% cotton and placed promptly in your wardrobe. For those of you who are unfamiliar with screen printing, it's a process that uses screens stretched onto a frame that allow ink to pass through them onto the shirt. I'm borrowing this image from Photoshop911.com to help illustrate how it works. Basically, you take your screen and coat it with a light sensitive emulsion and then place the film positive on top of it. The film positive actually has your design on it in black and white, as you can see. When it's exposed to a light, it actually hardens the emulsion around the areas that are not covered by the design and when it's done you can actually wash the screen and the areas covered with the design will wash out leaving holes in the screen for the ink to pass through then the ink goes down onto the screen a squeegee goes across the screen and voila there's your design now that you understand a little more of the process let's get on to separating the colors in our design since this design has five different colors, my printer will need five different files to make five different screens. Each color represents one screen of the design and will be laid down individually onto the shirt. To simulate this for you, I've set up the file to show you the different color separations and how they will look when printed onto the shirt one by one. We'll start with the black of the shirt, which will be our canvas for the design. And first we'll lay down the medium blue, which covers most of the areas as you can see. Then we'll add the dark blue, the light blue, that bright red blood, and then a little dark red for depth. Each one of these gets laid down individually to build up the ink and flesh out the design. I'll show you again. Here's the medium blue, dark blue, light blue, bright red, and dark red. Now when I give these files to my printer, I actually have to deliver them as black and white files so he can print them onto that clear film as you saw in the example image. So here's what they look like as individual files. And I've added the registration marks so they can line up the screens properly so that everything stays lined up. So there's that medium blue. There's the dark blue. There's the light blue. There's that bright red. And there's that dark red. And again, each one of these will be laid on top of one another to create the final design. So that's the process I go through to get each and every Fright Rags design ready for printing. I hope you enjoyed this chapter of our Birth of a Design series, and stay tuned next time where I'll be at my printer shop to show you the final step in the process. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to comment below and let me know what you think. Take care, guys.